by the sword. Gladiators, musketeers, samurai warriors, swashbucklers and Olympians. A book by Richard Cohen. Hello, I'm Colin Green, and you are listening to Spike Pit. This is a book from my personal library that I particularly enjoy. It's survived many clearouts and boxing ups, um, trips to the charity shop, and donations, etc. It's got a firm place on the shelf. What I'd like to do today is read the inside of the book the uh, the blurb as it were to share some of the scope of what we're dealing with in this really comprehensive study of the sword through history a dynamic and personality filled history of sword fighting from medieval jousters and renaissance princes to hollywood swashbucklers and olympic fencers by the sword is the first of its kind written by one of its renowned practitioners this is an irresistible narrative history of sword fighting both science and art which begins at the dawn of civilization in ancient egypt with insight and wit, Richard Cohen offers an entertaining and instructive alternative history of the world. Napoleon fenced, so did Byron, Dickens, Karl Marx, Michelangelo and Henry VIII, Mozart and Marcel Marseille. Bismarck duelled addictively and Ignatius Loyola challenged a Moor to a duel for denying Christ's divinity and won. Samuel Johnson debated it. Shakespeare wrote about it. Mussolini exulted in it. He would tell his wife that he was off to get spaghetti, code to avoid alarming the children. Churchill was a schoolboy champion. Errol Flynn and Basil Rathbone were excellent swordsmen, as Ralph Fiennes is today. We meet their coaches and the man who staged the fight scenes in Star Wars and the Lord of the Rings. We meet an Olympic champion who was a threefold spy and the German students who fought to gain scars to impress their girlfriends. Above all, we see swordplay as graceful and brutal, balletic and deadly, technically beautiful and fiercely competitive, the most romantic of all martial arts. Here is history writ large. By the sword will beguile history lovers, sports fans, military buffs and anyone who has dreamed of crossing swords with Darth Vader. Well that description certainly resonates with me and I imagine you the listener will find something that uh, piques your interest. However if you're not convinced I'm now going to read some quotes off the back of the book. John Keegan writes, In this enormously learned but also gripping book, Richard Cohen describes the part sword fighting has played in the history of male society in many lands since the earliest times, and succeeds in conveying the sensations, excitement and sometimes terror of the contest. His text takes its authority from his achievement as an Olympic fencer. And finally, Sebastian Fawkes. Touché! While scrupulous and informed about its subject, Richard Cohen's book is about more than swordplay. It reads at times like an alternative social history of the West, as it deals with the big themes of chivalry, the need to compete, and that elusive quality that all men call honour. I just found your podcast today, thanks to checking out... Entries for RPG A Day 2021. It's always great for me to hear new voices or read new words or or whatever uh, in response to the prompts that uh, Dave and I have selected. Very sorry to hear that uh, last year was a trauma, 
but uh, obviously you're in fine form because this episode was a lot of fun to listen to and certainly evoked a lot of familiar feelings about pouring over those precious, precious early products. Anyway, thanks again, and enjoy the rest of the month if you can. Okay, all right. First time I did RPG a day month, it wasn't that traumatic. I I might have been a little bit hyperbolic. That was a call in from Runeslinger, and now I believe, if I'm right, um, Runeslinger is in fact Dave Chapman, part of a duo responsible for RPG a day month. They come up with a prop prompts and you can find out more if you go and have a look at autocratic.com that's their website more information over there thanks for the call mr runeslinger and that as they say is a wrap big thanks goes out to you the listener for taking a bit of time out of your day to listen to old spike pit take care and I'll catch you later.